Hi everyone, I hope we're all doing really, really well. Today I'm gonna to be talking about how to know when to stop manifesting according to Neville Goddard. But before we get into it, you are more than welcome to subscribe on this channel. I talk about all things self-development, so if that sounds good to you, I would love to have you here. All right, so we're gonna be reading a little bit of a passage from good old Neville Goddard, and then we're gonna be talking about it. Let's go. If a man fails to fully impress upon himself the fact that he now has that which he desired to possess, he will continue to desire it, and therefore he will not be mentally at rest or satisfied. If, on the other hand, he succeeds in making this conscious adjustment so that upon emerging from the period of silence or his subjective six days of work, he knows by his feeling that he has the thing desired then he automatically enters the Sabbath or the period of mental rest. Pregnancy follows impregnation. Man does not continue desiring that which he has already acquired. The Sabbath can be kept as a day of rest only after man succeeds in becoming conscious of being that which he, before entering the silence, he desired to be. So if you still have this burning desire for the thing that you want, where whether it be your SP or you want a higher salary and you keep thinking about it and wanting it and yearning it and it's still not you know, registering that you already have it, that means that you should keep manifesting and rest only when you feel as though you have that thing right now. It should come as a relief. Listen when your desires speak to you. Use them as a form of communication. Don't listen to anyone else. Literally just listen to what you want. If you are hungry, you are going to want to eat. When you eat, you're satiated and you don't want to eat anymore. Listen to your body. Listen to how you feel and what you want. If you are still hungry for your SP, if you are still hungry for a higher salary, whatever it is that you want in this world, that means that you need to keep manifesting because you have not fully entered into the state where you have that thing right now. Going on to the basic example of having your SP. You wouldn't want your SP if you already had him. It's very basic stuff, guys. There are tiny little details like, oh yeah, but I still want my boyfriend. But that's frivolous. You don't want them in that way, in that yearning way that you want someone. You need to listen to your body and you will feel within your body what the difference is between you're still really yearning for it, wanting it, like you don't really care about anything else, like that is your priority, that means that you need to prioritize that manifestation and keep on going. And trust me, you will get to that point, oh my God, and you won't need to listen to no one. If it feels good to you to manifest, keep on going and that's not a sign of anything bad. Like that just means that you need to keep saturating your mind and I'm doing that now as well. So you need to just really listen to your body. Like it's not anything bad, but just know that it works when you really just don't want to manifest it anymore. In the Neville passage, he says, the man doesn't want the baby anymore. He's already impregnated like the woman. Like he knows that the baby is literally, it is a fact. It is a scientific fact that in nine months, the baby is going to come. So, it makes no sense for the man and the woman to yearn and want the baby. Yes, there is that feeling of excitement, but like still having that feeling of, you know, relief, that's where you need to be. But it's not like, oh my God, I need this baby. I want this baby. Oh my God, I want this baby. Because they know that in nine months, they are going to have that baby. Scientifically proven. It's the same thing with your manifestation. If you still feel like you're yearning for the thing that you want, that means that you have not properly impregnated your subconscious mind and you need to keep on manifesting and making it fun. And if it's not fun anymore, then give yourself a little bit of a break. It doesn't matter literally do not make yourself feel bad if you want to take a mental break from manifesting you can take a week off you can take a month off you can take a few months off literally this is for the long term and i don't think people understand that it's like a lifestyle shift when you're going to the gym you've been going three times a week but you know you've went this specific week two times and on the third time you just don't want to go 
Give yourself the permission to not go because you know that this is a long-term game and in a week or in a month or in a couple of months, hell, even in a couple of years, you're going to feel like you've mastered being consistent. Like you guys really need to understand the importance of long-term growth because if you keep pushing yourself, you're going to burn yourself out. You need to keep that mentality that I am in a learner's mindset right now and I'm learning every single day. And if I'm burnt out, that means my body, my mind is telling me something right now and I need to either rest or if it feels like you're relieved and you have that thing like you've impregnated, rest as well. If it feels good to you, that means your body is telling you something. If it feels good to you to manifest, then keep on going. If it does not make you feel good, don't do it. Don't do it. All right? So I hope that that made sense. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.